always say you can't digest the whole paper all at once, starting from the title and going through the abstract. So what, you, what, what I think is a nice way is kind of like reading a map before you get on the road and start driving. Um, is you, the map tells you where you're going, gives you a sense of some of the landmarks along the way. Skim through and look at the figures. So the figures are kind of the big landmarks, the things you want to see along the way. And then maybe go to the conclusions. That gives you a sense of where the paper's going. At that point, the, the thinking of the authors, the, conce the concept of the project has been framed. Be thorough, be clear, leave any personal baggage at the door before you even pick up the paper. The reviews are meant to be constructive challenges to the authors, to help them to improve, to fix the missing gaps, uh, the missing pieces and so on. So it has to be constructive. The key point is to think about the scope the quality, significance, and originality of the work and communicate that in a thoughtful, positive way to an author. The referee's job isn't to make a decision, publish or not, it's really to provide their wisdom and expertise uh, to the editor. We really appreciate input on what you think as a reviewer about the significance and importance of the work, in addition to the more technical aspects. I think when you review a paper, you should try answer two quick questions for yourself. Can this paper be good enough to be accepted in ACS census? And how can we make it better so that it will be the best paper it can be? The tendency is to do it very quickly. So my advice is for reviewers is to take a break. I always would encourage new reviewers to take their time with the paper and, and think about all the time that the author put into writing that paper and, and try and give back uh, you know, your time as well. Meeting with uh, editors uh, or authors at conferences and talking about the reviewing process can also be a useful way to learn. They have to be polite and impartial. And they also have to watch out for the scientific ethics, particularly if there's a possible conflict of interest, they should declare. A good review gives you really important insight. It gives you critical evaluation of the excellence of your work. If it just says, oh yeah, this work is very nice, please publish as is, then that's a terrible review. Think about the, the feelings of, of the author because the decision on his paper might be really quite important for his career strategy and also his publication strategy.